Good morning. Uh, is this working? Yeah. Okay. I could check that before I start the recording. Good morning. It's 6.47 a.m. on Wednesday, February 8th, 2017. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Why didn't I grab my caffeine before I started this? Maybe because I haven't had my caffeine yet. The conditions outside are uniquely and insanely slippery this morning. Uh, the roads are probably a little better from having a few cars driven on them already, but the sidewalks, I swear, if you had deliberately set out to create a perfectly even half-inch coating of ice on every single square inch of the sidewalk, I don't know if you could... Well. People who are experts in ice application, in in controlled setting, mm, yeah, they could do it. But uh, for it to just randomly happen from the weather, impressive. So trying to walk Luna was interesting this morning because I literally felt the need to hang on to something for every single step on any hard surface. So I, I tried to quickly guide my path to where I'm walking on gravel or on uh, non-paved surfaces whenever possible just because they're more uneven and not just coated with this sheen of ice. It's really crazy. I've, I mean, I've been around a little while. I've lived in cold places with cold weather. I've never seen it that slippery. There's an accident, um, like a block down um, on my street uh, so it's choked with emergency vehicles and there's lots of people trying to turn around and go the other way because it's blocked and whew, weather man uh, and then today was not even the day that was supposed to be bad yesterday was the day that they went and put salt and everything out on the roads even before the weather started because we got snow and sleet and everything and it's just last night or you know today was supposed to be the off day and then it'll snow again t tonight but uh just somehow the snow turning into rain and then freezing again just per pre performed produced uniquely slippery conditions and i'm impressed i really am it does, however, make me a little bit wary about the drive-in. I mean, by the time I'm driving, more cars will have gone over it. I'll have to, if that, if the road is still blocked, I'll have to maybe go another way because it's currently blocking the way I would normally leave for work. Which, you know, I can deal with. But I don't really want to drive on the roads if they're that slippery, so I don't know. Might have to, uh, you know, do a partial delay. We'll see. I'll be careful. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. I do have to remember to create the YouTube live event because tonight we are continuing with so many levels. We'll see if we finally get to the encounter that I've had planned for a while. Um, it's it's funny, uh, this being my first experience with a DM of just how... I mean, it's, it's part of what's great about playing Dungeons & Dragons, but it's just interesting how when I'm planning a session... It'll be my expectation that things will go a certain way, and so I plan accordingly. And I have all these things ready because I expect the characters to zig, and then they zag. And that's great. Like, that's part of what's fun about it. But boy, it's, it's more significant than I expected. And so occasionally when I'm expecting things to go A, B, C, and uh, they go, hmm, I don't like the, like, I don't like the looks of that B. How about we jump over to X? And I'll be like, oh, of course. Uh, you approach the X, and it's X-like and um, X-y, and uh, its name is Xavier. <laughs> uh, it's super fun. Although, 
We'll see. But I think I think I have at least the first part of this session. Um, no, I'm I'm not forcing the players to do anything. But based on their actions so far in their current setting, I think I know how to get them where I need them. We'll see. And of course, if I don't, that'll be fine too. I'll improvise and that's the joy of the game. But, you know, I do plan some things and it's nice to be able to actually occasionally use the things I planned instead of always having to make everything up on the spot. We'll see. <laughs> All right, so I've got to get ready for work. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.